Need some last minute fantasy football advice? Then the boys at the Fade Route have you covered. Tune in every NFL Sunday to Red Light, Green Light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ. D and I give you our top 1, 2, 3 fantasy starts or green light and fantasy sits or red light. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 every NFL Sunday during the season. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get the fade route. That's red light, green light, 1, 2, 3 with DNZ every NFL Sunday during the season. Let's run the option and give you our picks for the week. It is the option for week 14 in the NFL. And if you want to play along with us, you know what to do. Go to our Instagram page at Fade Route Podcast. Click on the link in bio. Go to our CBS Pick'em League page, also entitled The Option, and you can play along with us. The race is getting narrower between the first place lovely Rita Sanchez and D. I'm just playing out the string. I'm along for the ride, rounding out the top three. But, oh, what a race this will be. Because down the stretch, we come. Thursday night, Amazon Prime. The 2-10 New England Patriots go into Pittsburgh to take on the 7-5 Pittsburgh Steelers with Mitch Trubisky under center. Lowest over under since 1993. It's 30. And I'm taking the under, and I'm also taking... Pittsburgh. I gotta take Pittsburgh too. All right. Even with Mitch under center, that you figure Harris and Warren have to get something going. And the Patriots, how demoralized must they be? How many weeks have they held their opponents under 10 or less? So 10 or fewer points. And they have walked away with zero wins. No Ramondre Stevenson. No quarterback, no shot. Steelers, (laughs) Steelers, Steelers big. In this game, 9-0 would be big. Sunday, 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 the 5-7 Tampa Bay Buccaneers go into Atlanta to take on the 6-6 Atlanta Falcons. Mm. Bucks. Mmm. Okay. I gotta go with the Falcons. I, I think they're they're playing well enough. Mm. Jesse Bates is doing great on defense. You know, we've had a couple of Bijan siding. Bijan. Bijan. So we'll see if that keeps up. Overall, I think it's time for the Falcons to take control of that division. The 6-6 six and six Rams come east to Baltimore to take on the 9-3 and three Ravens. Baltimore. That's going to be a punch-em-in-the-mouth kind of game. That's going to be a really good defensive showdown. And it's surprising going to be a... a a matchup of two stud kickers, too, because the Rams just signed Rip Mason Crosby. So it's going to be Mason Crosby against Justin Tucker. How about that? Odell facing his old team, too. Odell facing his old team, yes. That's true. That's true. A little bit of a, yeah, not really a revenge game. So I got to go with the Ravens. Big day for Zay Flowers. Big day for Lamar Jackson. And they continue their ascension to the top of the AFC. The 9-3 and three Detroit Lions go into Soldier Field to take on the 4-8 and eight Chicago Bears. Lions. Yeah. Lions put the nail in Eberflus's coffin this weekend. 
The seven and five Indianapolis Colts go into Cincinnati to take on the six and six Cincinnati Bengals. Hmm, that's a tough one. I'm going with the Bengals. I believe in. I believe in Browning. The way he played on Monday, I can understand why he would. Yeah, like six incompletions total. Yeah, very efficient. Very efficient, but the Jaguar defense was making him look at like he was Joe Burrow out there. I don't know if the Colts are much better, but I think they're going to put up a little bit more fight than the Jags did. I'm going to take the Colts. Like this Minshew magic carpet ride is going to continue. And don't look now, but with the injury to Trevor Lawrence, now that division is up for grabs. Don't look now. Speaking of Trevor Lawrence, the 8-4 and four Jacksonville Jaguars go into Cleveland to take on Joe Flacco and the 7-5 and five Cleveland Browns. Oh, I'm actually going to take the Browns. I got to take the Browns too. C.J. Beathard is starting for the Jags. So, yeah. Joe Flacco is better than C.J. Beathard. Even at this advanced age of 39 years old. Good job, Joe. Good for you. Schwartz still has that defense going. It's going to be a long day for the Jags. The 1-11 and Carolina Panthers go into the Big Easy to take on the 5-7 and New Orleans Saints. Hmm. Jameis Winston playing in this one, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take it the Saints. Yeah. Is Olave going to play is the question. If he's he better good to play. go. Oh, yeah, he better play. He played last week. Yeah. I know he was going in hurt. So. Well, he had a concussion, that's all. Yeah. Brain injury. Just, that's nothing. Just a, just a bruising on his brain. It's just the bruising of the brain. It's all right. He, he's it's okay. Like, it's not like you need that or anything. Just rub some dirt on it. Walk it off. Spit on You're it. Right. God damn it. You're fine. You, you have to go with the Saints. Like, I mean, the Panthers, there's no way the Panthers are winning another game this year. You heard it here first. The 7-5 and five Texans go into MetLife Stadium to take on the 4-8 and eight J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. <laughs> I was going to take the Jets, but now that I heard that Zach's playing, I'm taking the Texans. You got to take the Texans. You have to take the Texans. The Jets are done, man. They're done. They're done. All you need to know is that the Jets have the same record as the Giants, and the Giants seem to have like a breath of fresh air right now. The Jets feel stale. The Jets feel hopeless. And if they ran the fucking ball with Brees Hall, (laughs) maybe they'd have a chance. (laughs) Sorry, Coach. I know I keep going. I, I know I keep harping on this, but run the fucking ball. You have no quarterback. Run the fucking ball. So Fox down. I'm over. Texans big. Even without Tank Dell, Texans big. Can you take the championship from DNZ this year? You can play our football pick'em on CBS Sports and compete against us in the option every week. Check the link in our Instagram bio, Fade Brown Podcast, for all the details and to sign up. Then tune into the Fade Route every week until the Super Bowl for updates and standing. Bring it on. We're in the 4 o'clock hour. The 6 and 6 Minnesota Vikings go into Vegas to take on the 5 and 7 Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with the Vegas Raiders. They play hard for Antonio Pierce. I'm going to go with the Raiders as well. Vikings, they got some issues. Dobbs is turning over the ball a lot. And that's disconcerting. Raiders are going to do just enough to win. 
The 6-6 six and six Seattle Seahawks go into Santa Clara to take on the 9-3 and three San Francisco 49ers. It's not even close. Bang, bang, Niner game. Seahawks slowly are done in this division. Probably slowly done in the wild card, too. The 6-6 six and six Buffalo Bills go into Arrowhead to take on the 8-4 and four Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah, it's not close. It is not close at all. How about them Chiefs? The 6-6 six and six Denver Broncos go into SoFi to take on the 5-7 and seven Los Angeles Chargers. Broncos. Yeah. Russ is going to want to get right after last week. The Chargers, they're just not good. 6 nothing. You put up 6 against the Patriots? That's it? Are you kidding me? They're going to want to get right, but I don't think they're going to be able to. Two ships passing in the night. Broncos take this one home. Your Sunday night special, the 10-2 and two Eagles go into Jerry World to take on the 9-3 and three Cowboys. Winner gets the division lead. Eagles. I can't believe I'm going to do this. How about them Cowboys? Oh my god. I, I, I felt dirty saying it. Like I feel like I have to go rinse my mouth out with but so but if the Cowboys can somehow if Micah Parsons in particular can somehow punch the Eagles in the mouth early they can definitely take this game right we know how talented or allegedly talented the Cowboys are on offense the defense needs to show up and punch the Eagles in the mouth. And we have a duo of Monday Night Delights. Both kicking off at the same time. So, pick your game accordingly. 8-15 on ESPN. The 4-8 and eight Tennessee Titans go into Miami to take on the 9-3 and three Miami Dolphins. I'm gonna take the Dolphins. Yeah. Yeah. Over or under 150 yards for Tyree Kill. Oh, under, under, under. Dolphins take this one pretty handily. Yeah, it's not even gonna be close. Not even gonna be close. Switch over to ESPN. 8-15. The 6-6 six six Green Bay Packers go into MetLife to take on the 4-8 and eight New York football giants. Green Bay. <sighs> Green Bay did get a little lucky with the, pa- the non-passing interference call on MVS. And... A win's a win. So, they're coming in with some confidence. They're coming in hot. The Giants, before the bye, had won two in a row. Fuck it. I'm going to take the Giants. Why not? They're not that far off. It's not that... It's not that far-fetched. That Tommy DeVito can pull this one out. Particularly... The defense will pull this out. I can see a Dory Jackson picking Mr. Love a couple times. Teams on a bye this week, the Cardinals and the Commies. So adjust your fantasy rosters accordingly. Why you would have any of these players, I don't know. But adjust your rosters accordingly. Hey, Robinson is number five is as far as running backs are concerned. Fine, Brian and Robinson. Half, half point PPR. Fine. I I'll give you the I'll give you Brian Robinson. 
Not even Terry McLaurin, Mr. Zero Catches, Zero Yards. Zero Catches, he just got some, he's just running cardio. He got his cardio. <laughs> so with the cardio. exception of Brian Robinson, adjust your fantasy rosters accordingly. Thanks for listening to this episode of our podcast. If you like what you heard and want to hear more, be sure to like and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Rate us five stars. Leave us a review. Turn on subscription notifications and tell your friends. Spread the word. Spread it wide.